Okay guys, so let's learn Altar of Sacrifice, one of the best Slayer songs in my opinion and we're gonna do um, the intro first, uh, it's quite simple um, Okay, so you kind of, you, you just play F have power chord uh, according to the tab and uh, right after that in the second line we get one of the most tough slayer riffs ever written and you know, if you want to learn it you, you, you pretty much gonna have to start slowly unless you unless you're kind of really really good with your right uh, right hand that's the most important part here so uh, this whole riff and i'm not really warmed up here but uh, this whole riff is gonna be like this Okay, so uh, and I'm not really, I can't really play it up to speed yet, <laughs> I'm almost, almost there, but when I learned it, I memorized, you know, how many times I should pick, speed pick this uh, F sharp second fret in between those melody notes, so, you know, I memorized uh, the whole riff like this, I, well, I, I start with down pick on the D4, the first melody note, and then I play it six times uh, E, uh, sorry, F sharp here, second fret on E. There we go, six times, palm muted, and then I play this melody again, but uh, but to, to the melody note D four five, and I down pick them, okay, and then I go back to F sharp and play four times. Okay, and that's all according to the tab. I mean, you, you can see it in the tab. And you know, continue like this. A4, six times on F sharp. And then four and three. And again, I don't pick them all the time. And then speed pick. Uh, and speed pick, uh, of course, alternate pick. Four times on second fret. Okay, so if I... Play it really slowly now. Okay, so that's how it goes slowly, and you know that legato here in the end. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of difficult first time you play it. It's kind of weird. Uh, coming out you know, after all just speed picking uh, Inferno here. Uh, but, you know, take it slowly at first. You know, play, learn this riff slowly. I mean, really slowly. As slow as you have to, in order to play it accurately. Uh, and, uh, and then you know, increase your speed with the metronome, and then, and you know, you, you can learn it the way I just described, uh, or you can learn it any other way if you want. I, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I'm telling you, you know, the way I do it anyway. So, uh, so this riff is really tough. Uh, expect quite a lot of practice on that before you get it up to speed, um, and. The, Okay, uh, and then if we go to the next slide, we're gonna use the strip in the intro and in the verse, right? So we're gonna play it in the verse here, as you can see in the first line, we played twice, uh, and right after that riff, we're gonna have this bridge, uh, which goes like this. Okay, and so that we played twice, so the whole riff is quite uh, well. I wouldn't say simple, but it's uh, much more simple than the pre previous one. But you're gonna speed pick uh, third fret for two beats, and then you're gonna have this pull off, and then you're gonna end it with the inverted power chord. So the first bar, you, that's the power chord on the third frets, 
and then you repeat pretty much the same shape, but then you're gonna move those power chords to different. You're gonna play the power chords in different positions. So the first one will be on three, second one will be on four, third one will be on six, and the the last one will be on five on fifth fret. Okay. A little note in the third bar, you, when you play this power chord on sixth fret, you know, I played with my little finger, and, and mostly because I, I have, at this point in life, <laughs> I have enough strength in my little finger to actually be able to play this chord here. Okay, uh, but if you don't have enough strength, you know, practice that a bit more and develop your strength in your little finger. You, you will need it in many, you know, many other songs. Uh, but, you know, you can also play it with your middle finger. Uh, okay, so... I guess what well, is up to you. If you want to play it you know, the way a slayer does, then you, you're gonna have to play it with your little finger. Uh, okay, so... Next slide. Then we go back to the inter uh, to this old riff again. And uh, you see at, at the end of this riff, you're gonna have a little break there. So in the second line, uh, and I, oh, I screwed that a bit here, but uh, you're gonna have this little stop uh, in the interlude. And uh, on the next side, uh, again, second verse, you're gonna use this old riff again. Okay, and I'm uh, gonna play it twice, uh, but at the very end, you know, if you look at the second line, the last bar there, you're gonna. Well, actually, let's look at the final two bars. You're gonna have. Sorry. You can have this thing that goes into the chorus riff. So, and that's another tricky part, you know, if if it weren't tricky enough yet, you, you're gonna have to learn how to go from here up to here. Okay, so the final two, uh, the final two beats, if you look at uh, the last bar, here, I'm gonna have hammer on from 4 to 5 on A, and then you have to quickly go here, put your index finger on A thread on A, and do this quick uh, legato. Sorry. Okay. Because then you're gonna go to the chorus, and uh, uh, so uh, yeah, I mean, you have to you know practice a lot. <laughs> That's all I can say. This part. Uh, okay. Uh, so I mean, it's not that difficult. I mean. Play it slowly a few times and you'll see that you can get it. You just have to uh, learn how to you know work with your fingers here. So you can just, when you're here you can play it obviously ring finger little finger four to five and then you you know quickly move your index finger here to A8 and you do this legato. Okay so the legato here is 8 and 8 and then you slide to 7th fret with your index finger okay uh, so for the chorus on the next side you're gonna so you're gonna go from this legato
So, so uh, you're gonna play this line four times, uh, and then you're gonna end with those final two chords. Okay, so that's eight and seven. Um, so the chorus riff is it's also quite tricky, um, but uh, well, if you wanna play it, you have to learn it. And I screwed up a little there at the end, but uh, that's pretty much the uh, the idea here. So um, you no, know, if you want to learn the slow at first, then it's gonna be. Okay, something like this, and then, uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, not much to say there, I guess, uh, not much more to say. So if you go, if you go to the next slide, uh, we're gonna have the guitar solos, and we're gonna have maybe one of the cooler guitar solo backing riffs Slayer has, actually, so <laughs> it's gonna be like this. Okay, so it's a bit big, uh, yeah, fifth, fifth fret, and then you throw in those melody notes. Uh, okay. And uh, uh, sorry, let's take it slowly one more time. So it's gonna be. So that's the slow riff, played it four times, and then in the second line it's actually the same riff, but you play it three frets higher up, right? So you speed the eight. Uh, and uh, you play this four times also. Um, right, and uh, yeah, so those notes at the end of each uh, riff here it was quick uh, eight six to five you i mean you have speed pick you know fifth fret and then you kind of you know throw your fingers quickly on eight and six so you know don't kind of don't, don't count them or anything in your head just you know throw in the, throw in the, the fingers very quickly you're almost like tapping the string but you know uh, it's gonna be like something like this okay just kind of throw in your fingers there. Um, okay, um, so at the end of the solo you're gonna have a little uh, break and then you're gonna do this legato that leads into the chorus. Okay, so that's at the end of the second line here. So the next slide we're gonna play the chorus again and four times all right and then you're gonna have this bridge uh, right after the second chorus which uh, could be a little tricky at first i mean all, all the riffs are tricky in this song i mean let's let's face it <laughs> so we're gonna have sorry that stuff so this is when, when he goes and says yes, enter uh, through the realm of Satan or something like that. Uh, and uh, uh, So, a very, uh, it's a cool riff but it's kind of tricky to pick it. Uh, so, um, again, you no. Know, Practice slowly at first. Okay. 
Okay, and that's the that's the thing. Uh, right, let's continue. So now we're gonna have um, a kind of slower part, but it's not it's not gonna get much just easier on your right hand. <laughs> so um, and also those parts that come here and you know almost continue for the rest of the song. Uh, you if if you are able to downpick a lot of this then you know congratulations and <laughs> uh, but if you're not you you can alternate pick it also all right and uh, you know when i watched the, some of the slayer videos they i know i think they kind of don't pick some some parts of it and sometimes they switch to alternate picking and uh, you know the thing about this those riffs are really fast and maybe a bit too fast to be able to downpick them for you know what is it one and a half minute or whatever. Um, so yeah, you might just kind of switch back and forth between downpicking and, and alternate picking. Uh, so but anyway, the riffs, the first line, uh, uh, the first line is gonna be like this. Okay, so uh, uh, if you don't pick, um, so you, know, you can don't pick it for a little while, but after that, you know, your right hand is yes, will die. <laughs> You're going to start to do, have to do alternate picking. Um, so uh, the riff itself is maybe not that difficult, right? But yes, the down picking part is difficult. Um, so the first line, that was the first line, and the second line is pretty much the same, but you're gonna have, the, the, instead of playing those five, six power chords here, you're gonna play the little you know, melody kind of line here. Okay. So uh, we're gonna have okay, and uh, yeah, you continue like that. So uh, you're gonna play that stuff twice, uh, as you can see in the tab. And uh, right after this, we're gonna have a little short solo break right here. Okay, so for the solo backing, you're gonna have this. Okay, so... Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, I mean... That should be, well, I hope that's straightforward. Yes. Uh, remember that you're actually playing in triplets right now. You have 12, uh, 8 uh, rhythmic meter here. So, uh, okay, and when I play it, I use this you know, spider finger technique, so I, you know, initially the first chord I play like this, index finger on the second fret, and then the second chord I actually go with my, I play it with my middle finger and the little finger, so middle finger on third, little finger on fifth, play. okay, so, and then I release and then I'm back. On my, with my index finger on the second fret. Okay, so a bit slowly. And then for the third chord, second bar here, I go I, I go down with my uh, middle finger on A3 and little finger on D5. Okay, and then I go back to second fret. 
and then the final chord. Okay. So if we play the whole thing really slowly. And um, and after that second line, we're gonna start a new verse again, and uh, you're gonna have the riff exactly the same riff as we used in the previous verse. Okay, so you're gonna start with this riff in the second line, uh, and then on the next slide, you will continue with uh, also the same riffs as before. Okay. So, um, the only difference is that the last line is played twice now instead of once uh, that we had in the third verse. Okay, so um, I'm going to play those riffs again here and if we go finally to the, to the ending of the song, <clears throat> we're going to have this little outro. Then it goes into the next song, right? Okay, so uh, the outro should be straightforward, I hope. It's not really difficult to play. Um, I guess those are like the easiest riffs in the song. <laughs> All the other ones are kind of tough to learn and to play. Um, require quite a lot of technical prowess and right hand stamina. But, you know, if, if you learn the song, you know, then you should be able to play play uh, pretty much anything that Slayer plays. Um, and your right and left hand will develop quite a good of quite a good set of technical skills. So I really recommend learning this song and uh, uh, and uh, yeah thank you for watching. Good luck. <laughs>